Hey guys, so if you have been considering this native Slayer Max Propel kayak, it's a huge investment. And if you're wondering how it's held up and how it's performed after nine months of hard use on lakes, rivers, streams, ponds, I wanna tell you exactly what I think about this kayak after nine months of really hard use. Just get outside and do something awesome. So I'm gonna split this up into pros and cons. So the first pro, is going to be the pedal drive the pedal drive as you can see here is hands-free i do have to correct the steering here and there but it makes me have the ability to be able to fish keep my hands mostly free and be able to move and hold position today i'm out here crappie fishing and uh, i actually just ran into a subscriber out here that's on a hobie and we were chit chatting about um, exactly like how great it is to have the pedal drive, especially trying to hold position, whether you're fishing for bass, crappie, whatever, trying to hold a position is huge. So the propel drive, having a pedal drive is huge for kayak fishing. So that's pro number one. So con number one. So I'm just gonna say the con number one is just gonna be the price. This thing is really expensive and it's out of the range to most people. But I will tell you that if you do put the investment into this kayak, it is a great fishing platform and it really makes fishing a lot more fun. It makes it a lot more convenient. And the more convenient it is to fish, the more likely you are to go out on the water. So hopefully this is providing you value today. Hey guys, I'd really appreciate it if each and every one of you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like button. I like to bring you all value talking to you about whether it's kayak fishing or fishing in general or just enjoying the outdoors. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please consider hitting subscribe and hitting that bell so you don't miss any of my videos. All right, so pro number two is gonna be stability. Um, when it comes to this kayak, it's extremely stable, easy to stand up in. You know, I have no problem standing up in it and fishing from it. Um, you can turn around and get to your equipment really easy. I got my minnows in the back here. I'm easily to turn around, be able to rig my stuff and not have to worry about flipping this kayak. So that's pro number two. So con number two is gonna be the weight of this kayak. So if you do have this kayak, you're probably gonna to need to invest in a cart system or a trailer or something to be able to move this just because it is so heavy. I would not be able to move this and fish, this, fish with this kayak as much as I do if I didn't have the wheel system on it. So con number two is gonna be the weight, heavy. I'm gonna go through Pro number three, and that's just the rigging of this kayak. When you look at this kayak, how it's laid out, you've got the front hatch, you've got all the track mounts on it that you're able to mount accessories. You got a huge tank well area where you can um, be able to put like your kayak crate and all of your equipment. Um, in the front hatch, you've got that battery compartment that has access to the bottom where you can put your sonar. Plenty of storage, plenty of options on this kayak. It's just an amazing layout for kayak fishing and it makes it really easy to fish out of whether you're coming from a boat or whatever to try out kayak fishing. So con number three is gonna be water in the standing area. So I'm just gonna show you, I've got a little bit of water down here today. And if I take out these scupper plugs, like I do not have a bunch of stuff in this kayak today. I've actually been out here fishing for crappie. So, I don't have a bunch of extra weight in this kayak today. And as you can see, like, if you have those scupper plugs out, you're gonna get water in the kayak. So option one is that you just leave them out and you don't care about getting your feet wet. But like for right now, like it's kind of cooler outside. I've got my boundary boots on, which I did a video on, which is gonna be a necessity if you have this kayak. Um, but I leave them in and I can lean from one side to the other in case I need to drain it but it doesn't really bother me. And that's kind of like a sacrifice for stability is that they did put the base of the floor pad so low to try to keep that stability where it needs to be to fish out of this thing. So pro number four is just gonna be the turning radius of this thing. I've heard some people complain that when you're fishing out of this kayak that it, you have to get going to get it to turn. Well, that's almost any boat. You've got to get some speed. You've got to get some water moving past that rudder to give you that turning radius. So I'm gonna kind of point my GoPro up here and just show you all. I'm gonna really get going, but like, I can really get this thing turning really tight. Let's go in circles here. You can probably see over there. I mean, it's probably about, I've got the rudder maxed out. 
and that's probably about eh, like a 12 di foot diameter or so for turning this kayak around so if you're looking at this kayak it does turn a lot better um, and that's with the stock rudder i did upgrade the steering handle just because there were a lot of issues with it braking which leads me to con number four and that is going to be manufacturing issues so they have had some manufacturing issues with this kayak uh, one of which was that the they actually did a factory replacement on the rudder handle because they were having breakage issues where the splines meet the handle um, there have also been issues with just being able to get these kayaks out there was a huge delay when they came out so it can be kind of hard to get your hands on one of these uh, they, i do think they're finally getting caught up um, there have been some manufacturing issues with like some of the scupper holes being too big and leaking they've worked through that but the great thing is is i've not heard one person that has said that like native didn't support them if they had some kind of manufacturing issue i wouldn't be afraid of getting this kayak if i were you and uh, i think they have had some quality control issues just because they were really trying to push this kayak out really fast so finally i'm going to end with pro number five i do not have a con number five pro number five is just going to be the seat um, the seat comes with its own seat base um, I, i've always kept it in the high seat position i've not seen any need to put it in the low seat and it's extremely comfortable i can stay out all day on this kayak and not have an issue i've done it multiple times in fact i've done i've been out on it for a whole day and then fished the whole next day and never had any issues with like lower back pain or anything like that because this seat is so comfortable so guys hopefully overall that gives you all a good impression after nine months of hard use of this kayak what my impressions are of it um, if you're considering getting this kayak and you have any further questions please comment down below and let me know and i will try to answer those the best i can for you um, but i really enjoy this kayak it's made fishing a lot more fun for me and a lot more convenient so i would recommend it to you um, but as always guys i appreciate you guys watching please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my content hit that like button if you don't mind and don't forget get outside do something awesome take somebody with you if you get a chance and i'll see you guys in the next video